not really. I mean, uh, it's quite a different situation. Um, but the management has gone to the stadium uh, to have a look. We heard there were some changes been made to the pitch. So, um, yeah, they've gone to check how things look at this stage. Uh, so we will have more clarity on what we need to go in with. But yeah, I haven't really gone in with uh, without looking at the wicket. Uh, you know, at least eight to ten hours before the game, um, before this. So yeah, it's it's probably a, a different kind of situation. Um, we have to understand that, you know, to play consistent cricket, obviously you need to um, make sure that, you know, people are playing on a regular basis. Those who are performing and those who are doing well um, should continue uh, in more games than not. And to be a consistent side, I think we need to have continuity as well un unless situations uh, where things are not controllable uh, arise. So. Um, yeah, we, we certainly don't want to take anything lightly. We want to play the same kind of cricket that we have and you know hopefully uh, retain the, the the team that played the last game as as much as we can. Um, so yeah, we are certainly not thinking of too many changes uh, at all, especially in this format because um, you don't want to start taking things for granted and you know then lose that momentum. So. Um, yeah, we we certainly not thinking on on drastic changes at this stage. No, um, for us it's a, all about uh, playing another test match, trying to win another test match. We've already won the series, um, but as I said, it, it doesn't mean that we can be complacent or afford to be complacent. Uh, for us, it's it's another test match that we're going to try and win. Uh, you can't look at these things and go into um, a game. That's certainly not what we think and uh, certainly that um, I know none of the team members also are thinking about this because it's. Uh, f I personally feel it's just a distraction that you know causes people to be overexcited or, or looking too far ahead into what, what might be the outcome of this particular game. I think we need to stay in the present and treat every session and every day with respect to win a test match and that's exactly what we're going to follow. Yeah, you can say <coughs> we are certainly better placed to, you know, uh, be able to afford a couple of days. Um, yesterday we took an off voluntarily and today it just happened to rain. Uh, but the day before that we had a good practice. Also what you need to understand in places like Sri Lanka is very hot and humid. Um, people sometimes end up doing too much at practice and then maybe you don't recover uh, well enough for a game. So. It might just be a good thing for those who needed more rest, uh, especially the bowlers who have massive workloads uh, during test matches. Um, so yeah, it might, for us I feel it's it's more of a positive thing than uh, a hindrance not to have a practice a day before the game because we are in a good zone, we're playing good cricket, everyone's playing well, everyone's bowling well. Um, so we feel absolutely comfortable uh, going into the test match uh, even though we didn't have practice today.